Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Bro. It's time to review Nine Days, directed by Edson Oda. The film's about Winston Duke, who sits in a little house in the middle of God knows where. He watches all these souls living their lives out on these little television screens in his home. Each TV is like a POV of yeah. what somebody is seeing at all times. And he has to decide who the next soul he's going to pick to go to Earth is. This is an interesting thing in the movie is that the souls are people, right? They have like personalities and everything. Yeah. But there's like one caveat that doesn't make them quite people. And it's that they don't feel as deeply. Like they don't feel as much. So everything's kind of like la-di-da. Yeah, they're like a little off in, in, in ways that are sometimes funny. I actually really like the way that they represented people as souls. I got that like they were capturing like the essence of what a person is. You know, you could put like Tony Hale's character who's like a goofy guy. You could give him all kinds of different parents through life and he, he might still grow up to be like this goofball. Like I bought that. Traits that would be independent to a person regardless of like their environment. It sounds very abstract, but I will say this. You will not be confused. I'm willing to yeah. bet on that. Yeah. The movie is not like very heady actually even though it sounds like a movie that's going for all these like deep intellectual ideas it's more just being like an emotional experience it's trying to be like emotionally deep it's emotionally resonant and it has kind of a childlike wonder about it it's also a movie that's like grappling between that and a different kind of outlook perspective or like reality that I think everybody's going to understand and relate to. Unless you're literally like a child. Yeah, there's like a really solid conflict. Like there's a really good internal battle going on. The yeah. screenplay is very well done where like it, it lines up really well with like the situation that the character is put in. There's a good deal of character development. There are like a lot of really beautiful moments, especially when he gives the souls like one last chance to recreate a memory after seeing this film at sundance you know i came away thinking it was my favorite of the festival i also wondered like if i watched this again would the emotional experience dull on the second viewing and it did not i have to say that this was like maybe one of the most emotionally powerful films i've seen in terms of like how often it got to me and it hit the same exact parts both times i've seen it which is hard to do i know exactly what's about to happen and still it gets me and i think what's going on here is that the film is taking you it's dropping you like way outside the perspective that you're normally able to look at your life and you're given the perspective of if you were not able to have the experiences that human beings have the privilege of having how would you like think about the experiences that others are having like if you're watching them like oh that looks really fun like he's going on a bike ride part of what you're saying is just it makes you appreciate your life and the things that you get to do as like a human being on earth. Yeah, but there's a very specific way in which it does that. Those scenes that you were talking about where Winston Duke sets up an artificial experience for the soul to experience. Those are like almost very cliche, like beautiful stock video things like riding a bike and feeling your toes in the sand. And I can't even explain to you why it works in this movie in a way that it doesn't feel really stock. basic. It doesn't feel like stock. It doesn't feel stock. I guess you could watch it that way, but... There's definitely a way to watch it and just drink it in. The movie really like tries to like crack you open, I feel like. Allow you to like feel a lot about just life in general and just be like, oh, like life's so like, and just be very gushy. I mean, yeah, it's almost like celebrating gushiness. Like if you think about what the movie is about. It wouldn't be able to do this successfully if it didn't have the other end where, where Winston Duke's character has a very negative outlook on life. His backstory is really important in the way that it works into like, you know, oh, it's about this, but really it's a story about a man who's trying to do this for himself. Like that was that just works really well done. It's about how every person gets just beaten down by life. Some people more than others, of course, but how far do we like lean into that? You know, can we be like joyous anyway? It's also like, can you be too good for this earth? Winston Duke yeah. He gives one of the best performances of the year. One of my favorite performances. He's doing a very like quiet, like big, like overall, like large teddy bear man thing. But yeah. then he has a scene he, in the end yeah. that's like going to be kind of famous. I think people are going to play that scene like in those stupid motivational videos. You know, oh, what it's I mean? going to be like a Facebook video that goes viral. Oh, yeah, exactly. That scene in the in 
in itself could bring you to tears. But here's the thing. I don't think this, the scene makes sense unless you know what happened in, in the movie. Yeah. So I don't know if it actually would be that. Winston Duke's performance in that final scene is worthy of a nomination alone. I think he needs to be considered heavily for best actor. I don't know if I would go that far, but I agree that it was a great performance and especially the ending. But up until the ending, I don't know that it was like Oscar worthy. I, I don't know. I just think that his performance is like everything in the end. Like that's right. what his performance was and what yeah. he was doing before that. I, I agree. The I mean, the ending is amazing. The score is also amazing. I have like a little bit of a, maybe like a nitpick someone would say. I kind of felt like it was obvious and I knew where it was like kind of going. And if I'm comparing this to Arrival, it's like a little bit about the same thing. Arrival was like, boom, the end's a revelation. But this movie, it felt like the film wasn't ever like ahead of me. Like I always kind of like understood the trajectory of what was going to happen. Nonetheless, I was, de- I was really glad I watched it. Like I agree that it is like a deeply felt experience and there are just some very beautiful moments in it that definitely make it worth watching. I don't know if it says anything entirely new, but I think it gives you like a new way to experience. Films never say new things. Never but it says the it case. in a unique way that you haven't seen before. Yeah. Very emotionally cathartic movie. One of my favorites of the year. Maybe I think that, and I'm thinking of anything right now, we're duking it out as number one. I would like to see it be nominated for Oscars. On one level, mm-hmm. I understand why it's why it feels like the kind of movie that wouldn't get it just because it's like this kind of like dimly lit, like weird concept thing. At the same time, it feels like really super universal. Like anybody I think could watch this movie and like take away something pretty substantial. Like you don't have to be a film buff to enjoy it. Yeah, so I feel there's like, a lot of people yeah. I'd recommend this movie to, I think. It's very just clever and like, it's, you know, it feels like original. That has a great ending, very memorable. And I don't think it's going to get nominated for any Oscars. I know, I know, but you know, there's a slot in original screenplay waiting for this movie can we can we get it there That'd be kind of it please get it there i would love it because yeah. screenplays blah, blah, blah. i guess if it gets one nomination sure maybe i think winston duke will get some something somewhere some kind of nomination or win at some critics thing i'm not even sure about that i but shouldn't yeah. disagree with that i don't think it's gonna get anything anyway <laughs> oh, oh i love it and go see it i would recommend it the most because it's getting a 10 out of 10 you would recommend it the most because it's more than me i give it a 9 out of 10 Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Has it been nine days since your birthday?